You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You've just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. A momentous turning point in the history of human environmental progress. We are standing by for the Prime Minister to give the OK for countdown launch of Elizabeth I. The controversial long-range probe to reach and harness the sun's outer layer and supercharge worldwide solar output. Hopefully, scientists promise salvaging the world's energy crisis. Yeah, so about that, doesn't happen, kind of explodes the sun. So this takes place before the last episode. The sun? Is that the sun? Maybe that is the sun. Maybe it's not even night out and the sun just isn't bright enough. Interesting. Uh, but things go bad. Invasion 2, The Return, Sam Chapman. Wait a second, there was, there was a writer in the first game who is writing Invasion. That's, that's probably me. I'm a writer. Finish the book. Deadline is the 27th. Oh yeah. My house is incredible. <gasps> I am the writer from the first game. It's Mango the monkey. Oh no, 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 no. It's okay. Thank you very, very much. That is a weird thing to have on the mantle. Key writer award. And they gave me a key. What am I, what am I supposed to do? Do I just live my life? Write books? Grow a family? Have kids? I mean, this could be the longest game ever. That seems much too big to be the moon. That's no moon. I think that is the sun. Can we go out and say hi? Nah, I hate going outside anyway. Probably really cold. We have some nice artwork. I have a big backyard. Just exploring the house. Look at my kitchen. Damn. Swim with turtles. That would be fun. What is this? Oh, hell yeah. That is a nice looking burger. Mmm. Mmm. One bite. That is all Sam Chapman needs. Shopping list. Onions, cucumber, bread, apples, batteries. Alright. Got the wine. <sighs> went through the wall and suddenly I have a knife and we have beer oh this is the greatest game ever oh and pizza hell yeah damn it the wife never leaves me pizza the dishwasher's running so that's good take the beer with me I really have absolutely no idea what I'm doing just kind of exploring my house here oh Got the laundry room. Pretty nice. Everything nice and clean. Oh, damn. Look at that. It's a spaceship. Woo -doo -doo -doo, woo -doo -doo -doo. Uh, that's fun. That was really fragile. You broke the ship. You broke the bloody ship. Oh, damn it. Come on. Dripping into a bucket. I thought I was a writer. Writers are supposed to be rich. And I wear jorts? Oh, I'm the worst person. Look what I can do! A thousand tears. So I wear jorts and I read rom-coms. Oh no. See what we've got upstairs? I have beautiful art all around my house. Uh, I haven't seen a bathroom yet, actually, and there she blows. Remember to go to the pharmacy. Um, okay, yeah, I can do that. Can I brush my teeth? There we go. Ah, so clean. Put a little shampoo in the old hair. Feeling, I keep a very messy house. Oh, that's what's dripping. Can we, can we turn this off? All right, that's fine. Well, this is the last room in the house and I... I still have no idea what I'm supposed to do. Billionaire, playboy, genius, philanthropist. All right, Tony Stark. Genius, billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. Yeah, the tissues and the lotion right next to each other. I see what's going on, Sam. 
Don't forget to wash your sheets. Oh, gross. Okay, I'll be honest, I really have absolutely no idea what's going on. I don't remember the TV being on. Uh, what? There we go. So much better. I love cartoons. Okay, this is kind of scary, though. He's, like, chasing down these... Yeah, don't worry about it. I gotta answer the phone here. All right, all right. Hello? Uh-huh. The hell was that? Ooh, shit. Uh... Okay, the power went out. Everywhere. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this. Can't see anything. Some weird noises. People are screaming. There's a car alarm. Oh. Oh, shit. Well, that is probably not good. Hello, alien overlords. Ha. Oh. Run, dude. Run. There's something behind me. Hi. Day number one. Ugh. What the hell? Today's activities. 9.59? I don't want to wake up then. Consume food substances. Ingest medicated tablets. Watch entertainment device. Lie in the sleeping chamber. What the hell just happened? There was an alien invasion. But... I think everything is okay now. Oh, the pictures are very blurry. That's fine. Nothing wrong here. Uh-huh. Creepy, but normal. Everything is normal. Take my medication. Ah, the sun seems to have gotten a lot brighter out there. At least I still have some food in the kitchen. Ah, this'll get me through. Everything I need? Human news. Everything is fine. Well, if it says so. Some really creepy noises coming from my fridge. Everything is definitely fine. Even the newspapers say it. I have to watch my entertainment device. There she blows, we have a nice fire. The, uh, the clock is a little bit backwards. Mango! No! This is the worst hell I've ever been in. Oh, at least my key is still... Mango? What are you doing up there, buddy? Oh, you're a real monkey. Um, hi. Hey, buddy. See what we got on the boob tube today. Oh, reruns. I wonder if they have the entire cartoon. I'm gonna sit down and watch. Yeah, he slipped. <laughs> uh, everything really is fine. I'm just enjoying TV in my very bright white neighborhood. The cartoons are funny. I mean, uh, good times. Okay, I feel very short. Oh, well, time for bed. Oh, it's been so long. Day 36? 9.59. That is a weird time for an alarm. This is the exact same activities. <sighs> Honestly, I would say this is torture, but, but I pretty much do the exact same thing every day anyway, so whatever. Go to the bathroom. Take my pills. Go to the kitchen. Eat an entire loaf of bread. Mmm. See, everything is fine. Check this room. Can't open it. Go watch TV. Say hello to Mango. Hey, Mango. Who's a good monkey? Please be a different cartoon. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, this is... This is awful. And then we go to bed. Day 368. 
It has been longer than a year. And I'm still doing the exact same stuff. Well, it's Groundhog Day. Again? Oh, come on, aliens. Give me, like, one fun activity. Can we go mini-golfing or something? Same blurry pictures. I keep waiting for something to be in the shower. Take the old pills, doing good. <sighs> Same kitchen. Although a different piece of bread. The other one had sesame seeds. Mmm, a real delicacy. Everything is still fine. What is this? You're trapped. Break the cycle. Um, yeah. Although, if I break the cycle, I won't get the yummy bread. Um... I don't remember that being there before. Your achievements will unlock the way. The... There is a keyhole. My achievements are the key writer. Oh, I got this. Yes. Mango, I'm getting us out of here. Hop on. Okay, cool. I will come back for you. What is going to be behind this door? Oh yeah, no, this is normal. This was, uh, it was just an addition I got to my house. I don't like the creepy noise that I just heard. They make you forget. Uh-huh, cool. Oh, this is awesome. This is really cool. This is the Twilight Zone. I really don't like the noises, though. And we are back in my house. That is a big plant. Holy damn, I overwatered it. Feed me Seymour. You've done this before. Yeah, 368 days worth. So do I, do I go back this way? What do I, can I leave now? Can I go to my backyard? Maybe this door will be open finally. Hmm, we can dream. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that hallway. We're gonna go check out the rest of the house first. No, Mango. Oh, I don't know if I can do this without my monkey friend. Oh, what the hell is up with the pictures here? They're huge. Huge blurry pictures. Just how I remember it. Alright, all my doors are locked. Ah, <sighs> fine. I'll go down your terrifying hallway. You. Me what? You know, you could have just wrote this all in one note. Have. You have. Have you? You have. Two. You have to. What? What do I have to do? Escape. Oh, there's some behind me, isn't there? Oh, I was ready for it. I was absolutely ready for it. What the hell? Uh... Okay. Well, at least they left me my giant rom-com book. A thousand tears. Out of the frying pan. And into the fire. I'm sorry, book. But you have to go. Oh, this is so weird. That doesn't normally do- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see that? Did you see that? It lasted for like one frame. But there was an alien boy right there. Hi, floating couch. How you doing? This is... This is neat. Really wish I could do this normally. Who turned on the TV? Ah, same goddamn cartoon. What the hell? That is a huge bull. And what's up with this family? Look at you old timer's nice mustache. Ma'am, looking good. How are the kids? What the hell is going on? Do-da, do-da. I wanna go outside, please. That's not where the kitchen is. That's weird with the lights. Okay. What are we doing in here? Turn a corner to view things from a different angle. So I have to go over here and turn a corner. Or there is a painting. Do I turn? Oh, this is so cool. Yes. Oh, 
Well, I have no idea what that was, but it's probably fine. Oh, everything is topsy-turvy. That looks like a boob. We are not in Kansas anymore. I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. No, sir. We are not. Look at all this stuff in my fridge. I think I have to drop into my bathroom, but can I... Hmm. Oh, I can't even eat it? Oh, come on, aliens. This is bullshit. <laughs> That is so trippy. Now this is very good use of virtual reality. I don't like the dark hallway though. I don't like this at all. We're gonna sprint. We're gonna sprint down this hallway. Excuse me chairs. Excuse me boob lights. Just need to get to the other side before the monster gets me. Uh... Okay. Why? Why aliens? Why are you messing with my mind? This is so weird. Do I... Do I have to go backwards? I bet I have to go backwards to break the cycle. Nope, nope, we're just gonna keep moving forward through the tiny doors. Come on. There we go. Oh, there was the alien. Rewind that, see him? It's time to break free. Don't let them see you. I think they've already seen me. I've been pretty loud about my escape here, but I think I know what I have to do. Alarm clock, you've been waking me up. Screw you. Nope, nope, that is way too dark. I'm just gonna stay here and live eternity doing my four tasks. But if we stay here, we'll die. Ah. Uh... Oh god, I hate it. Chapter 3. Deadline Earth. What? Sam Chapman, a science fiction writer who now finds himself captive to an astonishing science fact. Visitors from another world. Quite an extraordinary predicament that perfectly illustrates a classic idiom most familiar to those in the tall tale profession. Truth is stranger than fiction in the Twilight Zone. This so far is my favorite. This is really, really cool. We have an arrow telling me to go that way. I'm going to trust the papers, but what the hell is this? Hi. Hello, sir. How you doing? Can you imagine if you were flying on an airplane and then someone's hand... Just went through the window, tapped you on the shoulder. That is so bizarre. I will go back to the arrow in a second. Hi guys. What, uh, what are we doing? We just hanging out in our laundry room, talking, having a few beers? That's cool. I won't intrude. You guys have fun. Dead end. Okay, this is weird. Please don't lead me astray, arrow. Where? Are we? Some sort of maze? Maybe I was looking in on other humans trapped in their world. But why? What do the aliens want from us? There's definitely whistling coming that way. What does this say? We've spent months in here. Don't get lost. Okay, I'm gonna leave you there. I have to go see what this piece of paper says. It says to go backwards. Oh, that is so creepy. Hi. Just watching that TV, huh? Got some sort of club and yes. Oh hell yes. My dude is rocking it in front of the mirror. Okay, never mind. There's not even a mirror. He's just dancing in front of the medicine cabinet. Why? Oh, I don't like this room. I saw something right in front of me. This is like the upside down in there. Very creepy. The arrow's telling me to go this way. To the left. I love this. I'm peeking into worlds. Hello, ma'am. How are you doing today? Is that a... is that a corpse? I think that might be a corpse. How can we save them? 
Hey, Doc. Ah, uh, cool, cool. I'm just gonna let you hang out with your bodies over there, and I'm gonna go this way. Oh, I should not be here. I am so sorry, sir. Did not mean to watch you pee. Anyone else in there? I would totally watch them pee. Got some dudes over here in prison. Hey, man. How you doing, everyone? Having fun? Hey, guys. Cool. Cool. This is so weird. I really don't know what to make of this. Oh, my God. Dude, the aliens. They're getting me. Just the two seconds they're there. It, ooh. There's a gateway back home. Ah, uh, okay. Cool. Where is that gateway? Do as he says to hit your targets. What? Do as who says? Is somebody coming? I really hope nobody's coming. Alright, maybe we can get out of- Oh, hi. How you doing, sir? Um, please don't shoot. Okay, he doesn't seem to be doing anything. What do I do? What do oh, damn. What the hell is this? Oh. It's Simon Says. I did it. Oh, oh, we're still going. What is happening in my refrigerator? Can you imagine if this is what you had to do to get your food every single night? I am growing this tower really high. Oh, keep going. We're gonna hit that shelf. Yes, what is happening? Am I supposed to still do this? Or does this guy just really want an apple? I don't think he wanted an apple. Alright, and what do we have out here? Oh, what? I was in the Matrix all along. Holy crap. What the hell is happening? I'm in some sort of giant motherboard. Is this... Is this where the aliens are keeping us? Look at the platforms. So they took us and they imprisoned us in our own little worlds. And, and that's what I'm seeing through the windows, is I'm just seeing the alien worlds. Where do I go? Whoa. Be careful. We've done this before. Have we? Have we done it before? The hell is that over there? Oh, it's a mailbox. Okay. We're just going to go across the platforms that magically raised up for me. Thank you, aliens. That road is closed, and yet he's still trying to drive on it. All right. Going along. Doodly doodly dee. This is bizarre. What is that growing pustule? Um, hello? Where do I... Oh, I see. I think I'm supposed to walk across the old car here. Interesting. Oh, this is really cool. I have no idea what the story's gonna turn out to be, but I am digging it. Got some sort of blob creature just... Hanging out in the sprinkler, you know what? It does feel really good. I don't blame you, Mr. Blob. Oh. It's so big. It is so big. Excuse me, excuse me. Where am I going? Is this... Is this the way out of the alien motherboard? That is really, really creepy. Hi. Hi. I like you. We're almost there. We're actually almost there. Just a few more. Dude, that is so cool. Love these aliens. I just really hope they don't attack me. Surprise, no one's noticed that I've left the area. That one is sparking very dangerously. I mean, we had the aliens flash in front of us very briefly, but everything seems okay. What is this? Prepare myself? What do I... What do I need to prepare myself for? Oh! What is up, Mr. Eyeball? How is it hanging? Look at the size of your hands! It's actually really creepy that the ends of his tentacles 
have human hands on them. Can I just like unplug it? Take them out? One big, big pull. We have a note over here. This door can only be opened by their hands. Oh. Interesting. So how the hell do I get one of your hands? I doubt you're just gonna hand it over. <laughs> can I go through one of these giant side doors? Oh yes I can, what the hell? There are people in here. There are scientists and policemen. And their eyeballs. Oh, that is so creepy. Hey, I'm gonna get you guys out of here, okay? And then you're gonna help me. We have to go cut off an alien's hand or something. That is a gun. Reload by moving the gun to the magazine on your hip. Uh... Awesome. Oh! Oh shit! I think I'm about to take out my first alien. And then we're gonna take out his hit. What is he doing? What's going on? Oh shit! He exploded! And now I have his eye, but wait a second. No, don't explode. I needed your hand. Well, maybe I don't need a hand if I have a giant eyeball. Oh, oh gosh, I touched his eye! How you doing? Wow. You got some really protective lenses on there, huh? Now, is this gonna do anything or. Nah, I need to have a hand. Okay, buddy, you wait right there, you squishy, squishy eyeball. I have a feeling we have company beyond this door. I'm ready. I have a gun. These aliens don't stand a chance. Look at them. Hibernating. Do any of you happen to have a certain hand free? Oh, your eyes are all white too. I just, I need a hand, okay? Here we go, that one looks very dead. Ew, this is gross. Find something to smash this, try the other room. I think I already got it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that is so nasty. What, what was that? Are you okay? Everyone, everyone good? Are you trying to roll away from me? Oh, Mr. Eyeball. All right. Oh, damn. Okay, uh, is this gonna stay with me? Great, so we just have the hand, I have my gun, and we are in business. We just have to escape. I see an eyeball floating right over there. Oh, here we go. Get closer so I can get a good shot. Do I have to hide from them or do I shoot them? Huh. Huh. Oh, the viscera. Oh, shit. Oh, you aliens got nothing on me. Dude, it's building a platform. That is cool. Is that a teleporter? Yeah, what's the worst that can happen? What's happened to his head? It's on backwards. This is terrible. Oh no. <gasps> you aliens got nothing. Taking him down. Oh, I'm gonna save all of humanity. Look at his eyeball rolling away. What a fool. Although I don't like how the mothership is just watching me. Can I take it out? I'll get you. What? Oh, dead. The game does get a bit choppy when I shoot them, though. Nothing. These aliens got nothing. What is this? This... This looks like the office. It is. This is the video game office from the first episode. Why the hell am I here? Oh my god. Was that Mango? Oh shit. Get away from Mango. Mango. No. He's gone. I saw him for like a half second. But that's good. That means that Mango is here with me. Which means I can escape happy. Oh shit, a phone. Oh no, come on, 911. What are you looking at? That is a lot of eyeballs. That is a lot of eyeballs. 
I think we have to take them all down. Make sure we're nice and reloaded. I'm ready. I'm ready. Here we go. Got one. Got one. Ooh. Easy. Easy. I love their eyeballs. Diary, millionaire, something, something. Good for you. How the hell do I get out of their maze? What secrets do I need to uncover? Oh, good shooting. Good shooting. That guy didn't even care that his friend died. Um, lead writer? Wait, isn't that me? This is my office from the first. Do you remember you used to work here? I've tried it a couple times now, but every time I go into the office, the game crashes. So unfortunately, we won't get to see if there's anything else in there, but that just, uh, it proves that I am the writer from the first series. And now they're all kind of really interconnected, and I'm excited to see what comes next. Uh, Stave One Europe is due to open in three days. Can we ship all of those stupid Santa dolls? Oh, so many Santa dolls. And I think we might finally, I really have to pee, be at our exit. Just have to eliminate one more giant eyeball. Easy peasy. And then maybe we can get the hell out of here. Good thing I still have the old alien hand. Oh, I hate this. I hate everything about this. This is awful. Oh, we're going into the hive now. This is nasty. This is really nasty. Let's try and get through as fast as we can. Come on. There we go. We're okay. Just open the big giant door. And we're back outside. With a whole bunch of aliens to kill. And kill them I will. Uh oh. Ooh. The game like freezes up for a few seconds every time I try to shoot one. I mean these areas are huge and probably really difficult to do. What? This reminds me of the Truman Show. Um, I'm impressed that it's running as well as it is, plus me recording on top of it all. Hey, Mr. Dry. Hi. Ooh. Oh, I think we almost died. I think they actually almost got us there. Three big boys channeling into me. I think I have to get over there. That's our exit. Take out a probe. Oh, hey. Ooh, the greener ones are harder to kill. Any secret teleporter over there? I think we're good. Keep moving. Okay. Okay. We are very close. The ships are just really bouncing in the waves there. Run over to this guy. Put a few caps in his butt. And then get to the teleporter. We can do this. There's so many. What? 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 No! 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 Day 383? So it takes me a whole bunch of days to get back to this point. Oh, I did not see you. How do I kill four? Shit. Oh, that is impossible! And then another 14 days go by. Take out the little ones first. And it di I didn't take them out. I didn't take them out at all. I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, this is really difficult. 409? We're just gonna go around the circle. I don't know if that is possible. There has to be a way to weed them out. Maybe if I just run past them, maybe I don't have to kill them at all. We're just gonna- we're gonna go for it. We're just gonna go for it. Hell yes. I didn't have to shoot it at all. Well, now I just kind of feel like a bad person. Take out the probe. Why do I shoot everything? Oh boy, here I go killing again. Another giant door. Another alien hand. 
Oh, come on. Why the really creepy rooms? Mango! It's you! He led me out of here after all. Whoa. Um. Teleport here. Don't make the mistakes I've made. Like, what are the mistakes that you made? Did you not teleport? Should I not teleport? Ah, uh, it does kind of look like a trap. What if I go around it? I mean, he told me to teleport, but if I don't, can I get a sweet view of the city? Oh yeah. Alien City, the pinnacle of something. All right, we're going in. Oh. Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I regret everything. Hi, big boy. Well, this is fun. I'm in like the alien brain. The hive mind. Those are some really creepy looking eyes. Do I... Do I do this? Oh. Stop. They sounded very upset. Ah, uh, Is your brain collapsing? I think I have to keep going. Oh, hi, hi. I will not go back. You will die. Oh, yeah? Who's in control? Who has the gun? Don't like these guys. They're very difficult. Do not attack? But, but I am attacking. It's what I do. Oh, look at those eyes disappeared. Uh... Should I be doing this? No, I have to save humanity. And the only way to do that is by shooting. There was another way. Well, now there isn't. Sorry, buddy, one to go. We are here to save you? Oh no. Oh, I might have royally screwed up. Oh no. I think I get it. I think I understand. That is epic as all hell, though. Oh. A lifetime spent dreaming up hostile alien invaders has blinded Mr. Chapman to the possibility of alien saviors. Now he finds himself left behind in a place all writers dread. Written into a corner. A corner located in a particularly grim region. Twilight Zone. Uh, my hands are smoking. Oh, I don't have a hazmat suit. Mango, what did you do? I was just following you. The engines have fired up. Stand by. The quest to save humanity has begun. Oh, that was... Awesome! What a twist! And I love how they connected all three of the stories. Okay, so here is what I think happened in the story. In the first chapter, you play as this horrible boss. But when you look outside, you can see this giant horrible snowstorm. And they talk about how they just okayed a solar probe. So I think the Earth was in a really bad way. The sun had lost power, and that's why we had all that snow. Then you have the third story where the aliens come to collect humanity. And that's because of what happens in chapter two. We sent the probe to the sun to try and reignite it to save the planet, but it caused the sun to expand, killing everyone on Earth. The aliens, they realized what was about to happen, so they scooped up humanity and put him in the ship. But I, you know, having written so many times about alien invaders, I killed the aliens and then doomed all of humanity to live on the planet where the sun killed everybody. Oh, that is brutal. So in all three of the stories, I played a bad guy. I was a dick in the first one. I was the prime minister that pushed the probe even though scientists told me not to. And in the third, he wasn't really a bad guy, but he, he definitely doomed humanity. This game does what it should do really, really well. Tell a story. The Twilight Zone had amazing stories and this captures it perfectly. What the game doesn't do is gameplay. The guns, the, the mechanics, the interactions, all of it was pretty basic. It was really 
archaic from the first few years of virtual reality. Nothing stood out, nothing was particularly fun, the guns were just really bad. Does that hold the game back? In my opinion, yes, it does. I think that the story itself is really cool to experience. They did some really clever stuff with the, the way the house worked in the Alien story or how they use your voice in the first one. So there was definitely merits to the game, but the gameplay was just so basic. Ooh, I unlocked 1959 mode. The gameplay was so basic that I do think it stops the game from reaching the really high heights that it could do. Uh, let's see, what the hell? Ooh, 1959 mode, lost classics mode. Oh, damn. I can play the entire game sepia mode? That is cool. Or black and white. That is the true way to play the Twilight Zone. Find the secret hideout, the spectacles. I remember the spectacles. That's not fair. That's not fair at all. And release the gin. Ooh, there's a genie somewhere in here. Okay, folks, but this is the end of the Twilight Zone. I hope you enjoyed it. The story here, how it all connected, was really, really good. Till next time.